when we discussed this two week, last week, you said it wasn't the right decision because it would debase last year's, sorry, this year's A-levels. And anybody who says, I got my A-levels in 2020, but employers yeah. will just fall about laughing. Now you're saying it is the right decision. It's the right decision given well, what happened with did, the application of the model. Do you change your opinion as often as you change your socks, Minister? I, I change my opinions when the facts change. What, 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 what do you do, Nick? Um, I, I don't key... I, I, If I presided over this shambles, Nick, I'd quit. I wouldn't have the balls to stay in post because I'd let too many people down. I don't know how. Have you offered to quit? Look, I, I gave a lot of thought. I'm a human being. Of course. Of course. When, when I saw some of those, those young people uh, who worked solidly for two years, expecting A's and B's, going to pick up their grades and yes. finding three D's and losing their place at veterinary college, of course it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. And I can only imagine how I would have felt all those years ago when Indeed. I collected my level grades. Of course I thought about these issues uh, Did you offer over the weekend. your resignation? But it, was, but it would be, no, it would have been the wrong thing to do because there will be uh, an inqui inquiries by the Select Committee, by the, the Statistics Authority into these issues. And my focus has to be on making sure we put these issues right, that young people get the grades that are fair uh, and that they can move on to the right. next stage of their careers. And we get schools ready for opening in September, getting young people back into education, uh, back in with their friends and their teachers.